Let's um, just be doing the game for the very first time. Well, not very first time. I've got a game for the very first time. It's, um, you know, uh, I think we've come back into lockdown here in the UK and um, I haven't actually watched Boris Johnson's video but I'm just assuming you watched to be honest. And, um, also, it's, it was the first day of autumn on Tuesday and the weather's really gone downhill now so it's cold and wet and you know, I just want to stay inside and play games to be honest. So, um, hopefully this, this um, um, let's play difficult and depressing times. So this is, uh, the game's not actually officially been released yet, it's just um, in like um, a beta at the moment, so it's saying welcome to the ground community, this game is an ongoing work in progress and your feedback will be critical in helping to make it the best experience possible. Thank you for joining us and being a part of our development. Spiders. This game contains spiders that are often much larger than the player. If you're not super okay with that, you can enable arachnophobia safe mode and accessibility options. This is a visual only setting that does not affect gameplay or difficulty. So if you go into the accessibility options, we can actually see um, the, um, the spiders. So As we turn this setting up higher, we can see it gradually changes the, uh, the spiders to look less scary. So you can see when we go to number one, they've removed some of the legs. When we go to number two, they've removed all of the legs. Number three, they removed the fangs. Number four, the outline, a little weird thing. And that number five is just basically a white blob with a couple of red eyes. but. I'm going to play, I'm going to be brave and play on zero because um, I am, I do have arachnophobia but I am getting over it and uh, you know, I want to, this game might actually help me to get, be even less afraid of spiders. So um, I've not actually tested this on my PC, it's been, I'm just going to play on like the default settings which is high quality and all this. Um, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to play on 30 frames per second because that's what I'm recording at and yeah, my computer's been in the repair shop for a long time, I've just got it back so I thought why not play a game, you know, to test it out on, I've been wanting to play this game for so long now and um, yeah, really excited so um, yeah, so this video is basically just going to be a test, um, you know, test out the requirements the equipment, test out, you know, how well it plays games and all that, so it's been fully dusted out in the computer shop, I was having trouble playing games, it was all laggy and stuff, but that's because it was overheating, but the guy at the shop's been very good, he's got all the dust out, and um, he should play a lot better now, so I'm just going to click new game, and uh, I'm going to play as Pete, because I do like Pete. Hey, nice to meet you! So the name's Max. Maxwell Smalls. Maxwell Pete. Ali, whoops. Uh. Hey, I'm Willow. Willow Branch. I should speak. Whoops here. Ready to mix it up? What's the worst thing that could happen? So I'm just going to play on medium. We can play on mild, which is easy. And then we can go whoa, which is like really hard and then creative which is just like you know just if you want to build stuff basically there's no creatures or anything that are going to attack you but i'm just going to play on medium 
and um, as most people put a medium and it's probably the best option so I'm going to start Like you really stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? Hello? Hello? Uh -huh. Alright, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. So you can see we've come in this little case here. And um I don't think we can. No, none of us tried that before in the video, so no, you can't go any further back than that. So as you see in a moment, I am very small. So hold shift to run, WASD keys to move, um, spacebar to jump, simple controls. See left click is to punch, control to crouch, right click, I think it's to pick up objects, I'm not sure. You can interact with lots of things in the Mom game. Mom and Dad so are not going to be happy about this. For example, as well, you can see, Pete, hold, you always wanted to go on an up. adventure. You can see if you press E to pick up this plant fiber and, um, oops. Go away, thank you, we don't want that. And now all about it's popping up there. So the game seems to be playing okay, frame rate not too bad. Um, so yeah, you can see it's a very interactive world, you can cut down grass and collect stuff. Um, and um, in the moment we see some creatures, so I think I have to go over this way I think. Oh no, that's oh that's a, that's the field station where you can collect stuff. So I'm just gonna um, you can chop down this grass, chop it till. So you can see how big these blades of grass are. You know these aren't leaves; these are blades of grass. Um, you can see these ants here, and well, they don't normally attack you. Hello, unless you attack them. But if you do attack them, then Usually the whole colony goes after you, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so, wow! Look at the size of that Chunky Chubs League-approved baseball. It's the size of my dang house. So, um, despite watching loads of gameplay videos, I'm not really sure. Um, oh yeah, it's like these pebbles, so you can like. I think if you right click you can throw and think. I'm not sure. Um, and you have to collect stuff to eat. You know, I noticed in the bottom left corner there's like a hunger and first bar. These are to um, these tell you how hungry and thirsty we are. So you can actually eat these. So you can see the mushrooms, what number six, if you look in the bottom. If I press six now, I can eat. Better this. than starving, I think. And you can see my hunger bar slowly going up. And you can slurp this water, but I wouldn't recommend it, because what it all it does is it makes you hungry, basically. So, we basically have to collect resources and craft stuff. So, go to the... That's the options. Um, I don't know how you bring up the... Um, the um, oh, it's hard to throw, see? Okay. So, so yeah, uh, oh that's where we started from, so we have to go to this, um, oh yeah, and there's a stamina bar as well, so as you can see that's slowly running out, um, so we have to analyze these, um, things, so we go here. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues, or some one. So let's analyze the plant fiber. Science! 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 Um, let's, can we go analyze the pebble? Oh, we can. So you go to this science station and, um, you can see now we can craft this axe, so, um, so we can't analyze anything else. So it's auto saving, that's good. So if it cash in, we can find more evidence. Find water. 
So, there should be some water drops on these blades of grass. I've watched hours of gameplay of this, but as you can probably tell, I'm still running. So you can also swim the water as well, which is pretty cool. of that thing. It's probably the size of a, a bathroom scale? Yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, this mysterious machine thing. Let's see what we have to do. Just for fun, I'm just going to kill them once because, um, why not? The ants really angry now, so you can see they're all swimming. So, um, really, I should probably just should sort have of killed a weaver to be honest. They don't. Okay, I'm just gonna get that plant fire. Spray or whatever. Okay, so let's. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I'm a real noob at this. Uh, I'm so just gonna have to bear with me, I'm afraid. Um, oops, right. So target, you can kill these nut things as well, so let's kill them. I think we should find water first, because we are getting a bit thirsty, and I think the game needs to do that, so... Okay, I'm just going to do the new thing and slurp out the pool, uh, because... What, what will happen is, you know, I'll go... In yeah, it's dirty water, so it would make me hungry. So now I have to find clean water. So... There should be a drop. One of these uh, blades of grass or something. Um, it's a challenge to find clean water in this game. Um, so, yeah, you can see. Can't find any drops of water, so I'm going to have to keep exploring, I think. I do apologise, it's, it's a bit boring, but, you know, I need to not play this before I've only watched... Oh, oh, there's a spider, I'm not going near there because I know how bad, um, how deadly these spiders are, especially. Not so much later in the game when we've got the armour and stuff, but oh god, what's that? Oh no, So you can see I've lost all my stuff, so let's... Can we kill this aphid, please? Can we kill this aphid? Oh, 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 oh. You can tell I'm pretty good at this game. Um, okay, where... Where's that aphid gone? I need some food. Please, aphid, let me kill you, please. Come on. Oh, come on! Oh my god. Alright, let's just get some mushrooms. They're easy to eat. Easy to get hold of. Let's just get a few of these mushrooms. Oh, there's a weevil. I'm gonna get that weevil. These are like these elephant insects. Oh, it's running away. Oh, 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 oh. oh where's it gone? Oh, it's there. 
please don't eat me. I don't like to kill insects, but you 